Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And here we have a lovely equation and we want to solve for the variable h. So what is the equation? Well, it's a little interesting because we have the percent symbol in here. But nevertheless, nevertheless this is an algebraic equation. So we have 3% of h plus 12% of h is equal to 80. So this is the equation. And of course, we're trying to solve for the variable h. So don't feel shy about uh, using a calculator to assist you in this particular problem. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, we're going to solve this problem step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the solution. Again, we want to solve for H, and the answer is H is equal to uh, 533.3 repeating. So that is the answer, 533.3 repeating. So this notation here, that th uh, bar over the three, just uh, simply means that this decimal goes on infinitely, just a bunch of threes to infinity. So you and I don't have the time to write all those threes out. So we just put a little bar over that. That just means that that digit repeats. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you were able to defeat a uh, algebraic equation that involve percent. They'll be so impressed with that. They might even take you out for, uh, to dinner. Who knows, right? You just kind of share your successes along the way. But in order to do this problem, you're going to have to know um, something about percent and algebra, right? But this is not that difficult. So let's take a look at two approaches here, two ways to think about this. So here we have 3% of H plus 12% of H. Well, 3% and 12%, we can write percent or think of percent um, just as numeric values. Okay, now you can see here we're adding up these percents into 15%, but uh, we can express percent as a decimal. I'll show you that here in a second, but let's just use a simple, simple example uh, here, uh, just basic algebraic example. Let's say I had 2h plus uh, 5h is equal to 80. Okay, so this is an H and this is an H. These are what we call like terms in algebra because we're, we have the same variable to the same power. These are exactly the same, which means that we can add these like terms. And how do we add like terms? We just simply add the numbers in front of those variables. These things are called the coefficients. So these two combined would just be, if I have two H's here and I have five H's here, I have a total of seven H's, okay? So you want to be thinking, oh, the, you know, these are like terms. And the second thing you need to be thinking about is how to um, express uh, percent as a decimal, all right? So these are some basic concepts. Hopefully you understand. But uh, if you have trouble with any of this basic algebra percent, I want to check out a course like my pre-algebra course or my math foundations course. Well, actually, the more my pre-algebra um, course because I... That uh, course deals with basic equation solving. Also, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that you can check out as well. All right, so this is an H right here, and this is an H. So uh, knowing that 3% and 12% I can write as decimals, I can simply just combine these two values, and I can call this 15% H. Okay, so I'm combining like terms is equal to 80. Now, uh, to solve for H, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 15%. So 80 divided by 15% uh, percent is going to be the solution. But I'm not done here, right? So I'm at this point, to, act, to actually get the um, uh, specific or the actual value, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, change that percent to a decimal. So how do you uh, write a percent as a decimal? easy, all you need to do is simply divide by 100. Okay, so if you take that 15% and divide by 100, you're going to get 0.15. So 15% is equivalent to the decimal value 0.15. So all you have to, uh, again, to um, convert or write a uh, percent as a decimal is divide by 100. That's effectively moving the decimal point over two places to the left, either uh, way you think about it. 
As long as you get it right, that's all I care about. So now to solve this problem, we just go into our calculator, take that 80, 80 divided by 0.15, and you get this lovely answer right here, 533 point, and all these threes repeating. So 533.3 repeating, that is the solution. All right, so hopefully, you know, this problem, you know, if at uh, you know, first glance, you know, it seemed intimidating, you know, it's not that difficult, right? And we're dealing with basic algebra and basic percent concepts. These are things, hopefully, skills that you have. But if you need to work on, you know, any aspect of what you don't know in math, that's perfectly fine. Matter of fact, that's a good thing that you have identified what you don't understand, right? If it's percent, you're like, oh, I don't really understand percent. Well, at least you have identified that because that's now on your to-do list. And whatever you have identified, at least in terms of mathematics, if you truly want to learn math, if you identified a weakness, if you don't take care of it, it's going to come and haunt you, and it's going to just come up over and over again. So in math, math is cumulative. Believe me, everything you're taught in math, you will use in future math courses. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at another way to kind of think about this problem. So stylistically, you could have said, all right, 3%. I'm going to go ahead and just write this as a decimal. So again, I could take this 3 divided by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the left. I got 0.03H and 12%. I can, uh, again, write that as a decimal uh, divided by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the left. That's 0.12. So now I have uh, basically a decimal equation. So I have like terms. So when I take that 0.03H, plus 0.12h, here are my coefficients. I add those up, 0.03 plus 0.12. If you remember your basic decimals from fourth and fifth grade, that is 0.15h, and that leaves us with what? Well, it leaves us with the basic equation, 0.15h is equal to 80, so to divide by h, simply divide both sides of the equation by 0.15, and that's where we were at in uh, uh, the previous method to solve this um, equation. So 80 divided by 0.15, is our answer 533.3 repeating so either way is perfectly fine but um hopefully um you know you understand at a minimum how to solve percent problems right maybe you're not up to speed on uh algebra okay that's fine uh, but i would definitely encourage you to learn some basic algebra because oftentimes to solve more interesting percent problems Using some basic algebraic equations is an excellent way to solve a wide variety of percent problems, but you should understand percent at a minimum, okay? Uh, as a math teacher, you hear this, you know, millions of times over a uh, career, you know, when am I ever going to use this stuff? You know, I'm never going to need this stuff in real life. Well, you know what? To some degrees, I, some, to some degree, I would agree with that, right? You're not going to have to do the quadratic formula and trigonometry in your regular job, let's say maybe you're an engineer or you're a surveyor or whatever the case is. However, when it comes to practical math skills like percent, yes, indeed, okay? These are things that we do use in our regular everyday life if you want to be informed about the world around you and your own personal situations, especially when it comes to, like, say, personal finance, because this symbol, if you think about it, you know, is totally linked to everything money. You know, this is on, something is on sale at this percent. There's inflation going on at this percent. Credit card interest rates, mortgage interest rates are this percent. You need to understand percent. And in order to understand percent completely, you do need to understand a little bit of basic algebra. But uh, anyways, if this video was interesting and exciting, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.